Thank you for kind introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Takayuki Yamada from Nagoya University, Japan. Today, I would like to present my research entitled Implantable Cassetta Flow Sensor with Legs in Air Passage for Laboratory Animals. This is the overview of my presentation. At first, I talk about introduction, including research background, our previous research, and why do we propose new type cassetta flow sensor. Then, I introduce new type implantable cassetta flow sensor with its features and advantages and fabrication process. Next, I report experiments and results Lastly, I conclude my presentation. So let's move on to introduction section. For understanding physiological relationship between respiratory diseases and uh, symptoms, the disease model animals are basically used. And uh, tidal volume values are measured to evaluate the respiratory function of the animals. As a measurement condition, direct measurement in the air passage and free move condition are required. So, we previously developed a miniature cassetta flow sensor. The sensor is shown in the middle picture. It consists of film sensor with heaters and some tubes. The measurement principle is anemometric. Heaters measure the flow rate passing in the tube. This sensor can measure the breath of the animals, but it obstructs the cellular motion. As shown on light, light picture, the surface of the air passage covered with ciliated cells and coated by mucosal fluid. Virus and bacteria invaders are trapped in the fluid and uh, transported outside the lung system. This means that an implantable cassetta flow sensor has to be fixed inside the air passage without obstructing the cellular motion. So, we propose new type implantable cassetta flow sensor. This sensor has four main features and four advantages pro produced by those features. The first one is leg structures. It enables the sensor to fix inside the air passage without obstructing cellular motion. The second feature is biocompatible materials. The sensor substrate is a biocompatible materials of perylene HT film. So it can be safety implanted. Thirdly, the sensor has two heaters called double heater. By comparing the outputs of those two heaters, this sensor can detect both of the flow rate and the flow direction. At last, heaters are placed inside tube forming ring shape. Thanks to this configuration, this sensor can measure the flow rate under no uniform and asymmetric flow condition. Then, I introduce the fabrication process of this sensor. The process could be divided two steps. First, Film sensor was made by photolithography and lift-off process. Then, the film sensor was packaged in tube which have leg structures. In the beginning of the process, 15 micrometer parallel HD film was coated on a glass wafer. Next, a negative type photoregist was spin coated on the film surface. The photoregist was patterned by ultraviolet light exposure. And gold and chromium was deposited by sputtering. 
In the end of film sensor process, gold and chromium was patterned by selectivity removing the photoregist. Next, the film sensor was inserted in heat shrinkable tube. Firstly, the film sensor was inserted in telephone tube with legs and filled the gap between the film and tubes by silicon oil. Then the sensor device was inserted in a heat shrinkable tube with slit and the only outer tube was shrunk. After shrinkage process, enameled wire was connected to the film sensor. In the end of fabrication process, one more heat shrink tube was used to fix full connecting area and sensor device was coated by pyridine. So I have to mention how to make leg structures. The incision called straight leg was made on one side of heat shrink tube. Then the heat was applied and the tube was shrunk. At the same time, the straight leg was automatically curled up, and the leg structure shown in the light picture was obtained. As an experiment, we investigate the leg shape when length and the number of legs was changed. The leg Length large L varied from 1 to 3 millimeter, every 0.5 millimeter. The leg shape was optically confirmed and the radius of curvature was measured. In the next step of this research, the sensor will be applied to a rabbit. So, by considering the size of rabbit air passage, L equal to millimeter was suitable. In the next experiment, we use L equal to millimeter. The number of legs, small n, was changed 3, 4, and 6. We optically confirmed the cross-sectional view, and when we chose L equal 3, the contact area to the wall of the air passage is minimal. In other words, N equals 3 is the best at the viewpoint of not obstructing serial motion. To investigate the sensor characteristic, we prepare the experimental setup like this picture. Compressed air was used as gas source, and its flow rate was regulated by mass flow controller. Flow rate range was from 0 to 300 ccm. The sensor was operated in constant temperature mode, and uh, in a diameter of tube simulated rabbit air passage was varied from 2.4 to 2.7 mm. At all tubes, the sensor was successfully anchored inside tube by legs. The result of flow rate measurement is shown in this picture. We found that the sensor output against the flow rate was obeyed King's law and the sensor output variation with different inner tube diameter was suppressed less than 3%. So, in the future, we will measure the breadth of a rabbit by using this sensor and evaluate the flow volume by this calibration curve. This is the conclusion of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you for kind attention.